The SFJFF is an influential showcase bringing together filmmakers and audiences to celebrate Jewish cinema and explore its new frontiers. And whereas in its 30th year, the festival continues to offer an invaluable community service by providing a forum in which people can participate, learn, and flourish. Now therefore, be it resolved by Mark, Senator Mark Leno that he draws special public attention to the 30th annual presentation of the San Francisco Jewish Film Festival and extends the organization sincere best wishes for its continued growth and prosperity in the years to come. And to many of you here who are members of the Jewish Film Forum, more than 700 of you and growing, you are the supporters who make the year-round programs and this festival possible. Thanks to my fellow members on SFJFF's board of directors, you'll see many of us throughout the festival, so feel free to approach any of us and tell us your thoughts. Moment. Uh, we all, all of us at the staff and at the board, uh, all of our uh, audience members and I think our community have very eagerly been awaiting the 30th anniversary festival, partly, um, you know, because with the collapsing economy around us and this major programming controversy we went through at, at the festival this past year, all of us are looking to say, oh, that? Oh, that was so last year. <laughs> so, it has, of course, been a challenging year for many of us, not just in the nonprofit arts world, but for all of us in the Jewish community, dealing with what it means to have controversial or difficult uh, discourse. Uh, and we are eager to be continue to be part of that conversation. And I think the program this year um, really uh, engages that in an in important and we we hope a very um, uh, enlightening way, casting much more light than heat. And I think we all join together in uh, dedicating this year. Uh, this year's festival to a year of, of civil discourse. So that's my wishes for all of you. The program this year, I think, expresses not just, not just our character um, of our, and our taste at the festival, but also our dedication to, to those principles. And we want it to be a place where, that represents uh, what film can do to help remind us who we are as a diverse people, that helps share, the share with the world our values and our struggles and helps each of us define ourselves in this very complex world that we inhabit. The festival. We have a strong program for the next two and a half weeks, if I do say so myself. Uh, I think that will be proven to you when you experience our incredible opening night film. When we first saw Saviors of the Night, Saviors in the Night, sorry, we not only thought we saw a great film about a glimmer of light during a dark time in history, but we envisioned a great event to begin our 30th festival. I am not big on describing films when you're about to see them, so suffice it to say, you are in for a moving experience hopefully on many levels. Ludi Boken is the director of Saviors of the Night. Saviors in the Night, sorry, Ludi. Um, Ludi had two other documentaries, uh, two documentaries at the San Francisco Jewish Film Festival, Jewish Soul Music in 1983, and The Other Face of Terror in 1986. Ludi was born in Holland and lives in France and Israel. He has produced films, remarkable films, such as Vincent and Theo, the Robert Altman directed film, and Train of Life. In 2004, he won the Prix Tournage Europe at the Avion Film Festival and Best International Feature for the film Deadlines at the Santa Barbara Film Festival. The film tonight is his third narrative feature. Please welcome to the Castro stage the director of Saviors in the Night, Ludi Boken. I just said this is going to be a great festival. You have the chutzpah to say this before it started. I can say it's going to be a great movie, so I don't want to talk for a long time, and I just want, to, want you to see it. Um, just a few words. Um, one, this film was very difficult to make. Uh, it was difficult to get people to help us finance it. 
and make it in Europe. Um, um, fine. The film, uh, you'll discover for yourself, the film is based on the memories of a remarkable woman who was already 68 when the first Jewish film festival started here. Um, she's with us tonight, Marga Spiegel. She's sitting on the fifth row in the middle of her great-grandchildren. Marga, thank you. Thank you. She'll be on the stage afterwards. Uh, she gave us all the strength and the spirit to uh, make this film, uh, and I hope, and we hope, in, in the spirit of, of what, she, uh, what she wrote and what she went through. We're also uh, blessed by the presence of wonderful actors, Leah Hunsbruck, who's here in the aisle, and Danielle Flieger, who is supposed to be somewhere in, uh, in this audience, and he'll be on the stage as well. So, um, listen, uh, it's not just a movie, I must say, but it's also a movie, so I'll let you, I'll let you enjoy. Um, you mentioned my last film, which was not in this festival. Um, it was called Deadlines. Um, one of my great actors in it uh, was a uh, pretty well-known Jew from the Bay Area, Bobby Buechler. Um, he passed away a few weeks ago, a few months ago. I would have loved to have him here with us, he would have been here, and my thoughts are with him. Thank you, and we'll talk afterwards. Thank you, bye.